Okay, so let's take a look at question number seven here in lesson three. This is uh, still in unit seven on the stats form, uh, stats unit. Um, the number of graduated students in the Yukon in 2014 in comparison to the number who registered in 2013 is normally distributed with a mean of 71.01 and a standard deviation of 28.75. Okay, so again, if we sketch our just a kind of a curve to kind of understand what we've got here, it's normally distributed. Okay, which means it's symmetrical um, around the mean, all right? And our mean here is 71.01. .01. So the thing we gotta be careful is that we can't really have a fraction of a student 0 0.01, it's just a statistical count. So it either would be 71 or, se or 72 students. So an answer could vary by there. And we have a standard deviation of 28.75, all right? So that's um, the deviation around the mean. So if the score of 57.564 and above represents the number of graduates in the Yukon, what percent did not graduate? Okay, so 57.564 is gonna be somewhere below the mean here. Okay, so if we look at this in terms of a couple colors here, um, anything above that mean here is the graduation component, and then anything below here is the non-graduation component. Okay, and we know that number was here it said 57.56, so I'll just put that in, 57.56. Okay, so how do we calculate here? What percent did not graduate? Okay, so all we're looking for here is the little area shaded in purple. So again, percent or pro is probability in this case, so we can use the norm CDF function. Um, we are going to take the extreme value, so when you put this in your calculator, we use one times 10 to the minus 99. We are going to go up to 57.564. Um, and then we are going to put in our standard, our mean and standard deviation. Okay, and that should spit out a value of 0 0.3132 or 31.32% is the ungraduated portion of the population. All right, and then if 420 grade 12 students basically went through the full school year, how many did graduate in June 2014? Okay, so well, we know we have 420 students that we started with. Okay, the amount that graduated was 31, or did not graduate was 31.32. So we're going to, to have to essentially multiply by the fraction that did graduate. So the amount that did graduate would be 100% minus 31.32. Okay, now remember, these are percentages, so we'll need to convert those into decimals, okay? And when we actually work it out on the calculator. Um, and when you do that, you should find that you'll have 420 times, um, let's just get a calculator here. We're gonna have one minus 0.3132, which is 0 0.6868. Okay, now it's important, take this to like four decimal spots here. I'll just make it a little bit clearer. 68, 68, okay, times 420, and that's equal to 288.46 students. So you can round this up to either 289. Um, in some cases, you might just say 288. It just depends how you want to interpret that, that last fraction. Um, but to the nearest whole number, that's going to be what one of you, one of the values we'll, you will have. Um, so this is the amount that passed. Now, if you see that there's a slight discrepancy in the value, it's more than likely just due to the number of decimals that we're carrying the calculation through. So this could be off by like plus, plus or minus one or two um, elements, um, but it's still the correct method for looking at the solution.